welcome back in this video we are going to upgrade VCSS 7.0 uh, to 7.0.1 so so already I already downloaded the ISO from uh, VMware site so what we can do is like just log into vCenter and uh, here what we need to do is like we need to mount the ISO go to edit settings and uh, go to CD-ROM browse and select the data store where you upload the ISO and just select the ISO and click OK so make sure it is connected click OK so now it is mounted on uh, VCH02 vCenter VM so once that is done we need to log into vCenter appliance uh, that is uh, VCH02 dot FLC followed by port number 5480 so <coughs> I already log in that is the reason it's take uh, directly logged in so uh, like generally you need to use your root username and password which is different from administrator at the rate vspa.local which is which you use to log into vCenter so we need to use the root uh, username and password to log in so when you log in here uh, here is the summary of the virtual appliance this is the version number and this is the build number so we are on 7.0.0 so we are going to upgrade to 7.0.1 so here make sure that you have a sufficient space on the disks so no disk is running on a low space so in our scenario everything looks fine so go to update when you click on update like what happens is it will automatically check for the latest version available version from the HTTP uh, so see it's showing an error so when you click here and select CD-ROM it should select the uh, CD-ROM directly or if you check for CD-ROM as well as URL it will check the both and uh, it will just pull the update from there so it will take some time for this okay so here are the critical updates available so here like uh, this is the release date and this is the version number so we'll go for 7.0.1 which is the latest one released on February 1st we'll select this and proceed for that so we have two options like stage only and stage and install so when you click stage 
it will it will validate everything and uh, it will make the p center ready and uh, any issues it will be uh, displayed so that we can fix it but this is a uh, test environment so i'm directly going for stage and install so select the license accept the license and click next so it will ask for uh, CIP <coughs> to I'll join the VMware uh, so that we will skip it so here it's asking for additional information to provide the single sign-on administrator password that is uh, uh, the password for administrator at the rate vspa.local so we will be providing that and click next so it's up to you you can uh, select this one or you can skip that one then click next so as usual it will ask for uh, like to take the backup so make sure to take the backup before you upgrade it so if you want to uh, like configure the backups you can go to backups and configure and uh, initiate a backup and then then go for the next step so as is it this is a test environment I'm not going to take any backup I'm just directly going for uh, upgrade so you need to accept the uh, ac accept this one that uh, you already had a backup of a presenter and its associated data store databases click finish the installation process will start now so it will take some time so I will just pause the video for some time and I will get back once this is done okay installation succeeded so we are able to see that it's hundred percent completed so we we'll close it now so if you see like uh, before we upgrade it was 7.0.0 .0 and now we are able to see the version as 7.0.1.003.0.0 so it's uh, like vCenter upgraded successfully uh, see here like uh, we have two options uh, one is like with CD-ROM and one is with URL if you have a good internet uh, then obviously no need of ISO directly it will pull the updates from the from the site and uh, obviously it took uh, almost 40 45 minutes so my P center don't have any VMs and it don't have any uh, like it's a fresh v fresh V center so just imagine for this it take a half an hour so mostly it will take more time for a production box but still <coughs> this is the this is the method uh, so to uh, upgrade a V center so thanks for watching and uh, for any suggestions and queries please reach out to my mail id vstudentblog at the rate gmail.com thanks for watching have a great day bye bye